hello beautiful people uh like share subscribe um please i want to i want to make this video long and um, please i would love you to listen to the end maybe you could learn one or two things and um i would also love to see your comments in the comment section uh so rena mokri just wrote an article uh today and i thank god he didn't even blame the ebos in general you know um i don't mind if he attacks p2b um, you know politically but there are some kind of very derogatory attacks he makes which i don't think is good you know i don't like reno and i cannot have the facts and i cannot wish reno well in life i pray disaster meets him anywhere he is because reno omokri is part of the problems we are facing in this country you know and he's two-faced anyway let me go straight to the whole story so Rena Mokri is blaming P2B and, Niger and Nigerian women for the um, falling of the Naira, falling, the tanking of the Naira. So Rena Mokri is saying that P2B is a next supermarket which imports uh, most of its commodity, is responsible for the tanking of the Naira. And secondly, said Nigerian women imports about $200 million of uh, human hair, so, or hair, so that affects the Naira. And... Um, he also mentioned about Nigeria supporting exotic wines, scotch, whiskey, and etc. etc. But Reno Mokri in his article never for once blamed the politicians. The politicians who, um, you know, after borrowing money, never use it to fix critical infrastructure like electricity, uh, fix uh, um, in critical infrastructures like road, you know, fix, uh, talk about critical infrastructure like building a uh, modern uh, industrial estates or, uh, you know, in the six zones. You know, he didn't say that one, which was, but it was P2B and uh, Nigerian women. I think that one in particular because he blamed them uh, for the hair importation. Anyway, let me even analyze this whole thing. You see, this man of Mokri is a very crooked guy. You know, reading through the comment section, in fact, these days, before I found out that it was Igbos that used to follow Reno Mokri a lot. Even me, foolish me then, I used to follow him. I, I was thinking he's some, somebody that has uh, his heads together. You understand, but these days it's Yoruba that are praising him. Ah, Reno Mokri is this, Reno Mokri is that. I remember many years ago when I started following Sodor Mokri, I was praising him to my friend. My friend told me, Come, you don't know this man. I said, I don't know him. Maybe then I didn't know his history. I didn't know he was two faced, you know, because this is the same man that's criticized Buhari, criticized Tinibu. Now he's working for Tinibu, you know, so he's a man of zero integrity. So I don't understand how is P2B responsible for the falling on Iran, Nigerian women. You, are you seeing how this man deflects blame? Now they want to make it look as if the politicians are not the problem of Nigeria, but the citizens. So Rena Mokri was saying Nigerians should patronize glue, Nigerians should patronize Nigerian products. I want to ask Rena Mokri a question. Rena Mokri celebrated his birthday in Kenya the other day. Why didn't he go up to Obudu? I heard the Obudu cattle ranch, the facilities there have fallen apart. Maybe he should have come and managed it. Or he should have gone to Adamawa because Adamawa is the most beautiful um, states in terms of natural beauty in Nigeria, but people underrate it. People don't know it's a keep a hidden secret. Adamawa is very extremely beautiful. Why didn't he go to Adamawa if since he so loves Nigeria? Now is Reno Mokri wearing a Nigerian made shoe. He was talking about Nigerian uh, uh, Babari that he wears it. Is he wearing everything Nigerian? Does he eat Nigerian food where he is uh, in abroad? If he so loves Nigeria and is so patriotic, why doesn't he come? Okay, he says Nigeria is not safe for him. Why doesn't he come to um Abuja to live. At least Abuja, some areas is fairly safe. He has, I think he has more money. He could come to Abuja to come and live, you know. This Red Mokri is very manipulative, just like Nigerian politicians. They want to make you always feel like you are the problem. But them, the Nigerian politicians are not the problem. Now, we ask a question. How many orders have Nigerian government made for innocent? Have Nigerian government made sure they buy all the cars this guy produced? I'm talking of federal government, not even the useless state governors that are not doing enough. And Nigerian government buying all the cars because in any country that needs to work, by now Nigerian government should have said, okay, you know what? All the banks should come together. Let's give this guy a loan. Let him expand. You understand? Let's see how we can manufacture these things here. And not only for innocent, there's a Yoruba woman I saw that produces furniture. I think her furniture is on the high end. Federal government can say, you know what? Want you to scale this your furniture factory to the biggest in the world? Do you have the capability to bring in people that will train Nigerian workers uh, to learn how to do this furniture, so that we'll stop importing furniture? So after this, the federal government, after the scaled up and they start selling, the federal government bans the importation of furniture and be their first, um, so uh, what do they call it? First consumer of those products. All furniture of Nigerian government must come from this woman, and they will look for a way for the woman to produce cheaper 
and quality uh, low end. We have wood in Nigeria, so why are we not producing our furniture? If you check the amount of money Nigeria spends in importing furniture, you'll be you'll be angry. So apart from that, um, I don't know why Reno Mokri is so obsessed about P2B. Maybe P2B is the person that uh, gives him um, money for Twitter and everything. So there's no day that goes by he doesn't talk about P2B. But the good thing about P2B is that P2B doesn't even care if you like insult him. And I know I, I wonder how his mind is made up. If you like say anything, he will just ignore you. So Reno Mokri blaming Nigerian women and uh, um, and P2B for the failing ass is funny. Now I've watched a lot of videos about. Let me tell you what is causing the inflation. Self, let's assume okay, there's inflation for everything happening in Nigeria. What what of food inflation? We in Nigerians eat a lot of organic food. Why is the government not building distribution centers as warehouses? You meeting all these Lagos boys that develop apps. You understand so that farmers can easily go to those distribution centers in the all the local government. Maybe federal government can say let's be 2020 in all the states and divide it by distances. You understand now why? can they say okay you know what anybody that wants to take fertilizer or take pesticides or happy sites here yeah, federal government will subsidize the price and you can only use this app to gain those things you know you go to the office get it so that people will get these things nearer to their locality and federal government can say okay you know what all small farmers in every this thing form a um what do they call it form a cooperative you understand that cooperative who can come and clear your farm, clear your land, look for an educated person, all of you should come together, register under one cooperative. Things like this, so that it's easy to monitor. Instead of giving uh, farmers, you don't even give them money, you give them this, these uh, herbicides, pesticides and fertilizers, loans. You don't give them money, they have to pay back. If they don't pay back, there's consequences. You can't give them that thing again. Or they can never obtain any loan in Nigeria again. Or there are many things you can use to... You, you know remove them or they will even go to a uh, minor jail you understand but the loan will be soft loan that they can pay over a long period of time it's not a quick quick scheme loan i think i meant should then, uh, have extension workers and uh, what do they call it uh, tractors you understand in those facilities these distribution centers so that whenever these people want to clear their land they all they just need to do is bring this tractor the only all they need to do is just to provide fuel and the government will have somebody fixing these machines. That's how it's done in other countries. Even in other African countries, I've watched videos of how they do it in other African countries. So why are we chasing shadows? Because one of the major causes of inflation in this Nigeria is food inflation. Where people spend a lot of percentage on food. You understand what I'm saying? People spend a lot of percentage on food. So apart from that, there are many other things. I'm just talking about of um, electricity. I've watched a lot of videos where a lot of industrialists complain that electricity eats up 50% cost um, uh, of their profit and um, um, increases their cost of production. What is there? Is it rocket science to improve electricity? If individuals, even in Aba, want to generate electricity for the who are about to have electricity or for the industrial region, what does it take the government overnight to pump in and force aggressive um, power plants? Building the biggest gas power plants for electricity generation in the world, building the biggest solar, solar of one billion or two billion dollars. You know what you do, and uh, building gas power plants. So those are just some of the way. But Reno Mokri, and uh, what of the corruption? I've not even spoken about the corruption. These uh, Nigerian politicians, they are stealing money all over the country. Reno Mokri is not blaming them for that. Dangote that went to take Nigerian foreign exchange, him and Emefili. Nobody is not talking about, he's not blaming the politicians, it's P2B and Nigerian women. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. <laughs> I still find this, this friend of Mokri, I, I don't wish him well. Those of you that you can say anything you want to wish. Me, if I don't like somebody, I don't present. If I see Reno Mokri outside anywhere in the world, I will give him a cold shoulder. He's not somebody that is a, a good character. He must come from a family of zero integrity. That's the way I see him. You know, so these are just some of the way these people just blackmail people. If you so, if the federal government lies too, they can also close down people. Be uh, not close down. They can ban all the things people be imports because there's no country you don't import anything. It's just that your exports should be higher than your import. There's no country, even USA imports a lot of goods. There's no country you don't export. It's just that your import, you understand. But the government is not doing anything about security. They're not doing anything about electricity, the roads, all these things are factors of production. The roads, they are not doing anything. 
Ah, uh, you're expecting Naira to fall. When I was shouting it before, all the, the beginning of when I started this video, that you know, in Japan, let me give you an example. Japanese yen is not a strong currency. But Japanese don't really worry much about what is happening outside Japan because they produce most of their stuff. They are rice, they produce it. They are food crops, they are machineries, they produce it. So why should they care if a dollar is stronger than the yen? You understand? If Naira was like that, people would not complain. So if Naira is very tattered and we are producing almost everything, uh, you understand? We have the technical know-how. Nobody will care. But in Nigeria, you have to import, import bring expatriates. You must pay them in dollar. You have to import food, you pay, pay them in dollar. And yeah, you see a lot of Nigerians going all over social media, still criticizing P2B. I just laugh at them. You see, eh? Many of them talk like that because they see get more, more small money. Very soon, many of these people, they will, you see them, they will run mad. Just see, see what I'm telling. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Tinibu tanked the economy. Buari. Sorry, Buari tanked the economy. Now, Tinibu has scattered it. It's, it's going to one. That dollar will reach 2,500. Everybody will get sense.